The Great Tablecloth by Pablo Neruda. When they were called to the table, the tyrants came rushing with their temporary ladies. It was fine to watch the women pass like wasps with big bosoms, followed by those pale and unfortunate public tigers. The peasant in the field ate his poor quarter of bread. He was alone. It was late. He was surrounded by wheat, but he had no more bread. He ate it with grim teeth, looking at it with hard eyes. In the blue hour of eating, the infinite hour of the roast, the poet abandons his lyre, takes up his knife and fork, puts his glass on the table, and the fishermen attend the little sea of the soup bowl. Burning potatoes protest among the tongues of oil. The lamb is gold on its coals, and the onion undressed. It is sad to eat in dinner clothes, like eating in a coffin. But eating in convent is like eating underground. Eating alone is a disappointment. But not eating matters more. His hollow and green has thorns like a chain of fish hooks trailing from the heart, clawing at your insides. Hunger feels like pincers, like the bite of crabs. It burns, burns, and has no fire. Hunger is a cold fire. Let us sit down soon to eat with all those who haven't eaten. Let us spread great tablecloths, put salt in the lakes of the world, set up planetary bakeries, tables with strawberries and snow, and a plate like the moon itself from which we can all eat. For now, I ask no more than the justice of eating.